Except on weekends. Oh, it's amazing on weekends for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. So we all have these things that we do when we wake up every morning. Like, I gotta brush my teeth fast because. Yeah. I like to eat first thing. Oh, that's I'm important hungry too. When I wake hungry up. or angry? A little of both. A little of both. Yep. Well, and then it's time to shower and get dressed and get ready to start a brand new day. Yeah. Yeah. So we all have, like I said, we all have things that we do. We all have routines. We do. But do you know what? what? In the Bible, we learn that there's a very important routine that we might not think about when we're thinking about our teeth and our hair and our clothes. That is and true. Watches. And Miss Chrissy, I actually probably know the Bible verse that you're going to say. Uh, I mean, there are so many good ones out there, but surely, surely okay. we both agree on the very best one. Okay, ready? Yep. Proverbs uh, 27, no. 14. No, but go ahead. Okay, Proverbs 27, 14 says, greeting a neighbor or a parent, well, I, did, I added in or a parent, with a loud voice in the morning will be viewed as a curse and not a blessing. So kids, don't wake up your parents really early on the weekends. Okay, I mean, that's not ex not even close to where I was going with, but I could not agree more. Yes. Let your yes, parents yes. sleep. Trust us on this one. Parents, you're welcome. So for me, I was thinking about Psalm 5-3, which says, uh, let's see, Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I lay it all out before you, and then I wait so basically, the Bible is saying to start our day with talking to God and letting him know all about it, everything, the good, the bad, the things we're worried about, the things we're excited about. Oh, that's really good. Lay it before him, and then we wait because God always shows up. Yeah, and when we do that, we get to see how God meets us where we are at. No matter where we are. No matter how we're dressed or what friends are with us. What time it is. The Lord so always listens work. to us. Yep. Isn't that amazing? Yep. So, Miss Chrissy, this week I am going to work really hard that before I wake, before I even get out of bed, mm -hmm. I'm going to try to say a prayer to God. I think that's a great way to start our day. And then yeah. even as we go about our day, you know, we can talk to God all day. It doesn't have to be formal. We can just talk to God, just like we talk to each other. He's yep. always ready to listen. Yep. God has hugest listening ears. Let's... Let's go ahead and say a prayer, okay? Let's do it. Dear God, uh, you help us wake up every morning. And so, Lord, I just pray that you also help us that, to add in to our routine, if we don't already do this every day, to spend some time with you, to pray to you. Maybe we can read a verse to you, but to just spend some time with you in the morning because you're, you're the most important relationship we have. Our relationship with you is the most important. Uh, so help us in the morning to focus on you and to wait expectantly and see how you're going to show up throughout the day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And now let's go find out what God has in store for.